Hey everyone, welcome back to Step Into Your Dream. This is part one of our two-part series of heart sounds and auscultation. Before we dive into the heart sounds in part two, we need to build a strong foundation by understanding heart valves and key terminology. Trust me, once you get this down, then auscultation will be a breeze. So grab your stethoscope and let's get started. The four main heart valves. How to remember all of them? Well, there's a trick. The heart has four main valves that keep blood flowing in the right direction. An easy way to remember, I would say is this, because that helped me a lot, is A-P-T-M, which stands for this phrase, all people take money. A stands for aortic valve, P stands for pulmonic valve, T stands for tricuspid valve, and M stands for mitral valve. This will also help us later when we place our stethoscope to auscultate our heart. What are the atrioventricular valves then? Okay, so I know it's confusing. You may also heard AV valve, but what does that mean? That means atrioventricular valve, which separates the atria, the top chambers, from the ventricles, the bottom chambers which they are tricuspid valve, which is located on the right side of the heart, and mitral or bicuspid valve, which is located on the left side of the heart. So why they are important? Well, these are super important because when they get close, they create a swan heart sound or lub. What is the pulmonic valve then? Yes, this is another good question. Pulmonic valve acts like a gateway to the lungs. So the location is right side of the heart between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. And the function is actually opens to send the oxygenated blood from the right ventricle to the lungs to pick up oxygen. And also there is fun fact. A murmur here could mean blood isn't flowing properly to the lungs. So what is the mitral valve? Well, yes, this is another perfect question to ask. The mitral valve, also called the bicuspid valve, this valve is on the left side of the heart between left atrium and left ventricle. And the function, this valve allows oxygenated blood to flow from the left atrium into the left ventricle before being pumped to the entire body. And then what happens when it doesn't work properly? I'm sure you guys heard a leaky valve before, right? A leaky mitral valve can cause mitral regurgitation, which means blood flowing backward. So here I kind of summarize all four heart valves, including what else they call, what is another name, where they located and their function. So this is a great summary, which I really highly encourage you guys to review before having your test. And this is a great way to remember everything. So now that we have laid the foundation, you are ready to move on to part two where we will break down how to listen to heart sounds, where to place your stethoscope, and what is normal versus abnormal. So do not miss it. Hit that like and subscribe button. And so you will see our next video later. Thank you so much for watching.